It's finally over, y'all. Finally, the Jurassic era is over. Please don't reboot it. Please leave it alone. <laughs> Let us enjoy at least the classics. Don't ruin it even more than what you guys already have. It's the grand finale, but it really didn't feel like a finale. Not that I was expecting anything good, but like Hollywood's doing nowadays, just an excuse to bring back some characters from the original, just to do a few nods here and there for nostalgia and wrap it up and say, hey, <laughs> that's it. Now the plot of this movie, it really felt like it was two plots in one. On one hand, we have Chris Pratt and the Velociraptor Blue. She has a baby and the baby gets kidnapped. So now Chris Pratt has to go and find the little baby raptor. And on the other hand, we have Dr. Alan Grant with Ellie Sadler and Ian Malcolm. And they got to go and try and take down the evil corporate bad guy. Something fishy is going on, so they believe he's up to no good. And they want proof of that to show it to the world. And then we have that dumb subplot of the girl that was cloned. So she doesn't know anything about her mom. She's having this stumbling relationship with Chris Pratt and Brian. Stella Howard's character which is just boring not interesting at all and yes the movie is filled with cheesy dialogue bad writing now speaking of legacy characters I don't know if he's considered a legacy character the Asian guy who just happens to always work at every facility that is thrown in this movie there's this funny line from Jeff Goldblum where he's like what like this guy it's always this guy this guy is always responsible for what's going on it sums up how I feel with this guy. And like, even though we know who these people are, they just felt flat throughout the whole movie. And this new girl that was, this new character that comes out in this movie, she's like a pilot. No reason to be in this movie at all. She was just thrown in there because they just want to address that she likes girls. Wow, that's, that's the whole point of her character. To me personally, it felt like there was not a lot of Chris Pratt in this movie, or at least I didn't feel like he had much to do. I felt like there was more of Alan Grant and Ellie Sattler in this movie than anybody else, which to me is not really a bad thing because these are the characters that a lot of people know or grew up with. and. They're there just to, you could say, rekindle that romance that hardly ever mentioned, hardly ever acknowledged. And even though that's not fully executed, it's just more enjoyable than what's going on with the main plot and the dumb subplot with the little girl who's just not interesting. Oh yeah, and how can I forget? This movie is about dinosaurs and that's the thing that you don't really see a lot of. Well, to me personally, I didn't feel like I saw a lot of dinosaurs in this movie. It's really focused more on on the human characters on what the humans are doing but since they're so boring and the plot is just boring is really not interesting i just want to see more dinosaurs i just want to see people getting eaten and chowed up by dinosaurs i mean one of them pops up here and there and then i guess until the ending where it's it's more of like a godzilla and kong versus the mecha godzilla whatever the name was it turns into one one of those fights the dinosaurs are treated you know with these movies as of like kind of like cartoonish characters now so i was really expecting more of like a grand finale fight at least give me a cgi fest at this point but it's like the t-rex just showed up at the end so they can make the jurassic logo <laughs> and that was it i like the concept of what this movie could have been because it deals with what the earth what the world would be if we try to coexist with dinosaurs but they don't execute that theme fully and who knows maybe they tried to take the idea of what the lost world was supposed to be or not the lost world i think the what the third film was going to be supposedly set up for that's why in the lost world it feels like there's two separate movies towards the end it feels a little rushed because now that the dinosaurs are in san diego because that's what they were trying to do i don't know if that's where they tried to kind of redeem themselves for this movie but it just it just didn't work for me at all so i will say that jurassic world dominion is gonna be a bootleg all right so jurassic world dominion have you seen it or if you're gonna see it go ahead and let me know in the comments below if you like this video go ahead and smash that like button and the subscribe button turn that bell notification on be on the lookout for more videos keep watching this channel and keep watching movies